Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to configure Azure budgets and cost alerts. So I have logged into the Azure portal and uh, you can go to the cost management and billing. So from here, you can click on the subscription and select the subscription that you want to configure this budget and alerts and under the cost management you can go to the budget so here we will create the budget so you can click on add and uh, under the uh, budget details you need to provide unique name learning budget and uh, reset period you can set it to invoices for billing monthly or quarter or per year so i'll leave it uh, default and uh, creation date and the expiry date so i'll keep it uh, 24 december and uh, here you need to enter the budget amount so i'm entering 500 and then click on next and here we can set the alert so that uh, once it is reached a certain threshold it will be notified for the mentioned email address so here i'm going to select actual and percentage of budget if it is reached 50 uh, percent of the budget which is 250 then it will trigger the alert and the second one would be when it is reached 75 percent then it will trigger the alert and next i'm putting 100 percent which is 500 and i can also uh, select the alert for forecasted if there is a forecast which will reach 50 uh, percent then it will trigger the alert and similarly forecast for 75 percent then it will trigger the alert okay and then uh, here you need to uh, mention the recipient uh, email address so that uh, it will be you know sent to that particular email address and uh, i'll leave it with the default uh, language preference then you can click on create okay so i'm just clicking on create okay budget was created okay so here we can see the budget name and uh, the reset period which is monthly and the creation date expiration date and the budget amount so if you click on this budget here you can see the usage of the budget since it is zero we don't see any progress and uh, you can see the budget summary here and the budget alerts that we have created for actual and forecasted and uh, the uh, email address of the recipient and the language preference you can also edit this budget but uh, we cannot change the name the reset period here but you can still change the threshold amount for the budget but in case if you want to change this uh, budget details then you need to create a new budget alert okay so we have created the budget and uh, next uh, click on cost alerts so here uh, we can you know uh, notify the if there is any anomaly you know cost detection detected for our subscription we can create the alert here so you can click on add and uh, here the alert type currently selected anomaly and uh, you can you know put the date when you want to start this and the subject of the notification and you need to provide the recipient email address here you 
can specify one or more email address and uh, the message. You can type it here. There is a cost anomaly detected in a computer group subscription. And then the language, then uh, alert name. You can put it here and click on create. Okay, so the alert rule was created here. It will take time to show up here. I'm just uh, refreshing. Okay, so once uh, it is showing up here, then if we wanted to remove that, you can select that uh, alert and click on dismiss, then it will be removed from here. And uh, you can also, you know, choose the option to reactivate here. And uh, next, uh, you can click on cost analysis where you can see the cost usage for the resource that has been used. So here uh, you can see the actual cost so far and uh, the budget amount that we have set. And here we can see the usage uh, by you know service name and location and resource group as well. So for here we can see uh, this cost incurred for virtual network and virtual machines. And uh, it was in the IN central region and uh, the resource group name rg1 and you can see uh, the graph when the cost was accumulated and uh, you can also uh, go to invoices where you can see the bill details once it is generated and under the payment methods you can see the core details that you have you know added for the billing and if you want you can add uh, you know separate or uh, different code as well and you can make that as a primary for the billing purpose you can also use the filter as per your requirement for example you can choose uh, the resource group and the resource group name that you want to filter out you can also uh, go cost by resource for example if i select uh, resource groups then it will list all the uh, resource groups and their usage. So you can see the details of the resources that is used by the resource group. So here I had only one resource group and then I have deployed all the resources under this. That's the reason you don't see any other resource group. Okay, so that's it in this video. And I'll see you in the next. Thank you.